Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to take you through the use of the um, if na command within Excel. It's an ideal command when we're using uh, vlookup. Quite often you'll find with vlookup if a, um, a key doesn't exist in the table of values that you're looking up, you'll get a hash na and then any, any uh, sum totals that you try to take uh, from a list are just uh, are going to end up with um, hash na. It can be really annoying, especially for a new user who doesn't understand what's happening. This is a really easy way to get rid of them. Okay, so I'm going to um, first of all just do a normal VLOOKUP without uh, the if na in, so just so we can show exactly what happens when we have a key missing. So equals if, in fact, we'll just do VLOOKUP equals v look up we're going to look up this key in this table second column false okay so in this vlookup uh, we're looking for cheese in this table and we want to take the second column when we find it and pull the value back so 10 so that's found that's found our value of 10 which is fine now what should I pull this down here we're going to get two NAs because wine and bread don't exist in this table. Now, as we were saying before, if I put a sum in here, I'm going to get hash NA as well. Okay, so how do we get rid of that? Well, what we do is we actually have to write two VLOOKUP statements within an IF. So, okay, here we go, equals IF is NA VLOOKUP key in this table to false we'll close the if it's an A I'm just going to copy this VLOOKUP because I'm going to use it again in a second so we're saying here that if this VLOOKUP brings back NA so if it is NA then if that's true we want to replace it with zero there is no quantity alternatively if it's false we actually want to do the VLOOKUP and return the value. So I'm going to paste in that VLOOKUP that I just copied, close off the if statement, hit enter, everything looks the same. And when I pull down this formula now, there we go. So it's actually running for each one, the VLOOKUP twice. First of all, it's saying if it's NA, replace the value with zero, which it has done. If it's not, then run the VLOOKUP which it has done for these two. Okay, I hope that um, I hope that explains the use of the is NA within VLOOKUPs for you. And remember, if you uh, want to find any any more useful hints and tips on Excel and VBA, then you could always visit the website at www.hackingtutorials.co.uk.